Welcome to video number 44 in the Using iTrain tutorial series. My name is Bob. In this tutorial we define an exercise to produce an operating scenario using automatic routing without a route. Welcome back. We have now been through all the various sections and tabs of station properties. To help bring into context some of the things that we have learnt about stations and as a bit of practice in applying what we have learnt, we're going to have a bit of fun creating an operating scenario on this small test layout. Now it's a very simple circuit, but even within the limitations of such a basic layout, we can create a lot of variation in the operation of trains running automatic routing without a route. In this video, I'm going to describe the task and I urge you to attempt it. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at how much you learn from trying it. There is no pass or fail, you just need to attempt it. In fact, I would be very surprised if anyone is able to get everything working in this task at the first attempt. As my father used to say, don't be afraid of failure, son. Failure means you are pushing your boundaries and expanding your knowledge. What counts is what you learn from those failures. Now, you don't have to attempt this on your own. Feel free to use the forum to discuss the challenge, to talk about problems and to share ideas. I will create a post called Tutorial 44 Exercise and post it in the English Support Automatic Control section of the forum. So you can use that post to start the discussions and work with others to solve the challenge. And then in a later tutorial, we will go through it together step by step. Right, so here are the details of the challenge. The first thing to do is to download the layout file. To do that, go to the iTrain forum, then click on the English section, then click on support and automatic control. And when in here, either look for or search for this post here called Tutorial 44 Exercise, and then click on that. The exercise is described here, but there is also a PDF that you can download here as well. And then right at the bottom here, we have the layout file itself called tut-44 underscore exercise dot tcdz. And a dot tcdz is always an iTrain layout file. Click on that file and it will start to download to your downloads folder or wherever these files are downloaded to on your computer. Then go to your downloads folder or you can right click and show in folder. Let me bring it across. Your file is in the downloads folder here and we can then right click on it and copy or cut it. I prefer to cut it. And then what we're going to do 
is to move it into the iTrain layout folder. If you don't know where your iTrain layout folder is, uh, open iTrain, then go to Edit and Preferences, and then here you will see the base path to the iTrain folder. So you need to follow this path by opening up Explorer and, uh, and then locating it. So if I go back to here, in my instance it is in um, OneDrive and iTrain and then within iTrain there's a folder called Layouts double click that and then you can paste the file into that layouts folder and now when you open iTrain you will be able to open the actual file by clicking on here and selecting it and then you should see a file something like this. Now for this exercise you will need to have two types of train available. I'm using the trains that are from the demo layout. If you're familiar with the demo layout that is uh, supplied with every version of iTrain. You can open it from the open link here but um, it contains these trains and one is called the Intercity which is a steam train with some carriages on the back of it and the other is this sh shuttle train which is this electric shuttle which has a control car at either end of it so it's capable of moving in each direction so you can either use those two trains or two train types that have similar capabilities. The intercity train just needs to be a train type that is going to go in a circular path around this circuit, traveling in one direction only. The shuttle train needs to be a type of train that is capable of going in either direction around the layout. The layout itself has been deliberately set up with some non-default settings. Your task is to create an operating scenario where two trains will run simultaneously around the layout using automatic routing without a route in the offline simulator mode. The first train needs to be of the type intercity or something equivalent and like I said it must only travel clockwise around this circuit and it should randomly stop at station 1 and randomly stop at station 2 with a 35% chance of a wait and a duration of let's say between 5 and 10 seconds for the wait. The second train needs to be of the type shuttle or something equivalent that is capable of traveling in both directions around the layout. It must always stop at both stations but it should never stop in B1 so you need to do something with the settings to prevent it from using B1. The wait duration in the stations 
can be set to something like say 10 to 15 seconds so slightly longer than the intercity train so the shuttle train should only ever use B2 and when it stops and waits in B2 after the stop or the wait has finished I want it to change direction 65% of the time so you need to set that up for the shuttle train when it comes into station 1 when the shuttle goes into station 2 and waits I want it never to change direction after the wait the intercity train should start from station 1 B1 and the shuttle train should start from station 1 B2 the layout needs to operate as I've described with both trains running at the same time using automatic routing without a route a summary of what you need to do for the exercise is given in that PDF file that you can download from the forum post or look at the content of the forum post so that is the task if you want to attack it without any hints then stop the video here and I will see you in the following video where we go through it step by step but if you get a little stuck and you want some hints and tips I will give you some now so decide if you want to see these now or to try it yourself without any hints and tips so hint number one all of these direction arrows in the blocks here are currently unidirectional and they will need to be changed if the shuttle train is going to be capable of traveling in both directions so some of those blocks will need to be changed hint number two within the block properties you will see a parameter called direction change forbidden that might cause you a problem in one or more blocks hint number three also in the block properties there is a parameter called critical and one or more blocks may need to be made critical too many critical blocks may cause you a problem too few critical blocks may cause you a problem and here's some tips on how to go or how to approach this tip one is to get each train type working correctly first so get your intercity train running round the loop in the clockwise direction get that working first then put the shuttle train onto the layout and get that operating so that goes round the circuit in both directions changing direction every time it finishes the wait in block two get the shuttle train working on the layout on its own get the intercity train working on the layout on its own and then when they're both working correctly then try putting them both on to the layout and running them both at the same time when you run them both together you will see that there are more challenges that you need to sort out so that was tip number one get them both working separately first then put them both onto the layout and see what happens 
tip number two is to set the wait times to one second for debugging and that will prevent you wasting time waiting for the waits to complete. So good luck and I'll see you in a following tutorial where we will go through it together and remember feel free to use the forum to collaborate with others if you wish. Thanks for watching.